Okay, in this activity we're going to learn how to program with variables. Uh, the first thing you have to do is set up your cell. And what we'd like you to do is set up your cell so that your robot is at zero, zero and you cell set up the program. Um, if you want to see your positions, you can click on this in cell setup. It will show your positions. Set up your um, cylinders at these positions. That'll make it a little bit easier. And once you get your cell set up, save it in a folder. Once you get your cell done, you can go ahead and save it. Uh, save it in a folder so you know where it is. And then go to start a new program, file, import your 3D model so you have your 3D model. What we're going to do now is teach it some positions. So you can teach or record your positions, but if you want to make it simpler, uh, we can show you what the positions are right here. So the positions, we're going to pick up blocks 1, 2, and 3 and stack them on top of number 4 at these positions, 41, 42, and 43. The above positions are 11, 12, 13, and 100 with a home position of 99. I've also included the coordinates uh, to do this activity. If you wanted to teach the positions, it'll make it go a little bit faster. So now you've made your cell. You've taught all your positions. You're ready to write the program. Well, how do we do this? Well, it's, it's pretty easy, actually. I'm going to open up this picture again just because I want you to be able to see this um, we're going to set some variables and to set variables um, we're going to call them ab pick at pick and drop ab pick stands for the above pick point which will be these and the starting ab pick is number 11 so we're going to set it equal to number 11 at pick is number one the starting position we want is number one so the first thing it does is go to ab pick, then at pick, then ab pick, and then drop the first position is 41, which is right here. So that's the first set. Um, we'll look ahead in just a little bit. But how do we uh, get a position called ab pick? In our commands window, make sure you're in pro mode. In your commands window, um, you're going to want to open this up we can look through we can set variable to a computation so when you want to set a variable you click on set variable to computation in this case we put the word ab pick right here and we put the number 11 right here uh, for this one it was at pick here and one here and for this it was drop here and 41 here it throws the equal sign in automatically. You can also do some other operands over here and you can drag them out from over here. Uh, we're gonna cancel that. Also, in this program, we made a loop so that we could jump back and forth to a point in the program. Um, loop is not a remark. Uh, you can't use remark. We use what's called label. Double click on label and then you can type in whatever you want and this will give us a place to jump to in the program. So here's how the program works. I'm going to call up my points so that I can see them again. We start by setting our variables 11, 1, and 41. Now we're going to start stacking. Let's call this a loop. And we labeled it with a loop. Open gripper, go to add pick, go to at pick, add pick 100. So it goes from here to here to here to here to here and then go to drop which is 41 so everything works fine once that's all set we tell it to go back to 100 which brings it back up to here and then some magic happens we come down here and we change the variables so we set at pick to at pick plus one add pick to add pick plus one and drop to drop plus one and what's going to happen, when we look at our picture, everything has one added to it. So now, at pick becomes 2, ab pick becomes 12, and drop becomes 42. So that's, it goes through the program, it comes down to this if statement, and that if statement can be found 
So when we want to do an if statement, we can say it's an if jump, and we can find it under program flow, and it's just type in the shortcut if. Um, if, and you put in your, um, what you're going to do, and then you can use your math uh, over here, and then to jump to. So we put uh, loop in the jump to box, and if, we could say, um, if at pick uh, less, I'm sorry, greater than three, jump to end. That makes it jump to the end. That tells us that it's going to do this three times. So we're going to cancel that, move this down here, um, and that's really all it's going to do. So it goes through, does the first block, then you add one to the variable, it's less than three, it's now going to go back up here, do it again, go just to the loop, not up to here, just to the loop, goes through, does it again, um, adds another one to it, does it again, now all of a sudden it's too many because it adds one extra, if at pick becomes four, there isn't a fourth block to pick, so then it jumps to the end and the end of the program is just right here and it goes back to position 99. So let's give it a try and see if it's actually going to work. Uh, we're going to say run single cycle and let's turn on our trails. Congratulations, you just successfully used variables for programming.